Today on the court, they are competitors, but the Lowell Red Arrows and the Forest Hills Eastern Eagles both have one person in common. They're each other's competition. Honestly, though, it, it, you know, it, talking about this with my kids, is it's not, uh, it's not so much about the wins and losses tonight. It's but really, they're on the same team. I'm shocked. I, I really am. Tim Holland's team. And, and I probably shouldn't be because of because the way the way things are done at both schools, you know, if it's if we're going, we're going all in, you know. Mr. Hollern is the assistant principal for the Eagles, and his kids go to Lowell. There's great kids here. I mean, that's, my kids are here, and so of course I'm um, biased there that there's great kids here as well. So today's special because it's a family that's been well loved by two villages. Both schools together are fighting the same battle cancer. You know, I think there's days that he probably isn't feeling as well in those things, but I think he tries to share his wisdom and, and be a mentor. This matchup to raise money for the Hollerns is the Forest Hills Eastern Athletic Director's idea. And Lowell was uh, nice enough to, to welcome us in and, and be the host for it. So, With a man this loved by both communities, the stands are packed to hear Tim say how he's been doing lately. He needs all the fans he can get. So it hasn't spread to any other organs, but it's there's a spot that's just outside of my liver. The outlook is uncertain. So once it gets in that area, then Cleveland won't do the transplant. So I got sent home once I figured that out. But one thing isn't. Trying to figure out like, you know, how how is this happening? You know, such great things happening and people come stepping up and coming out for me. With two villages, and one man so loved by both, Tim Holler and certainly isn't fighting alone. No, it's, it's a great community. And Tim was in the hospital as recently as today. He got out around 2.45, but said there was no way he's gonna miss this. Truly, he just loves being a part of both communities. For now, in Lowell, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.